we are going to start this, uh, this afternoon devoted to the role of basic sciences in developing societies. And to start with, we'll have a video by His Excellency, Professor Mohamed bel Hossin, who's the African Union Commissioner for Education, Science, Technology, and Innovation. And his, uh, his video, as I said, is also devoted to the role of being sci uh, basic sciences in developing, developing societies. Thank you. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to stand on established protocols. The investment or reinvestment in STEM education in low to middle income countries is necessary for economic growth. The new sustainable development agenda projects an instrumentalist view of science and technology at the service of human development. Science education has a central place within the new agenda in the context of global challenges such as food security, energy transition, water management, climate change, shrinking biodiversity, and rapid urbanization. Science education can no longer be understood as learning abstracted facts, but should be understood as a process of active inquiry that informs the inquirer's social values and actions. In Africa, at the national level, the commitment to developing STEM education is apparent in long-term national development visions, many of which will remain current into this decade. The knowledge economy view of development regards high-level scientific and technological research as imperative for economic takeoff of the African continent. STEM education, especially at the secondary level, is seen as important for preparing a pool of talented, well-educated youth who can take up their future in a fast-evolving world with more and more complex challenges. But where is the continent at in terms of preparedness to face those challenges? The fourth industrial revolution is here. It has already and is likely to further have a major effect on labor markets replacing, for instance, factory workers with machines. Our education and vocational systems are not in phase with this revolution. They still propose massive trainings for youth in areas that do not match the current needs of the labor market. A challenge for education systems around the world is to prepare young people for the jobs of the future and not to be the unemployed of the future. In the era of artificial intelligence, robotics, space science, informatics, this provides further rationale for a focus on STEM and digital technologies in education. Africa Union's Agenda 2063 sketches out a strategy within, with science, within which science and technology, uh, innovation and research are seen as the main drivers of the development of knowledge economies. One of the strategic objectives of our Continental Education Strategy for Africa 2016-2025 is to, I quote, strengthen the science and math curricula and disseminate scientific knowledge and the culture of science in the African society, end of quote. Formal education in STEM from basic level is the main vehicle for disseminating science scientific knowledge both through the curriculum and extracurricular activities. One of the critical challenges facing STEM education in Africa is shortage of suitably qualified teachers. Indeed, increased enrollment in primary and secondary education is associated with the demand for more teachers. In response, in many areas, teachers without the requisite knowledge and skills are employed. Attracting suitably qualified teachers in STEM subjects is a challenge as this job is seen as less attractive and less rewarding than other careers. As a result of the shortage of teachers, 
and also of inadequate, inadequate infrastructure in African contexts. Classes are large and often accommodate learners at different stages of learning. There is therefore a tendency for teachers to rely on theoretical explanations and teacher-led approaches. This means that students miss out on crucially important aspects of learning in STEM subjects such as experimentation. It is always difficult for teachers to cope in these circumstances, but in STEM subjects it is often even harder as hands-on work is required with lab equipment, computers and consumable materials. This puts a strain on the systems that are already strained providing and sustaining basic infrastructure. Other challenges that could be highlighted include the language of instruction and the social perceptions of STEM subjects. To address these challenges, a systemic and flexible approach is needed, focusing on coherence between different elements of the education and training systems, including curriculum assessment and teacher education. There is also the need for more rigorous evaluation of interventions with a focus on what works in raising learning outcomes for all and in all contexts. Finally, governments, together with civil society and the private sector, need to invest or reinvest more in education in general and STEM, in STEM education in particular, and to put emphasis on ways and means to retain and increase their pool of qualified teachers. Harnessing the views of teachers and learners on STEM curricula is also vital for ensuring the relevance and feasibility of changes to the curricula and increasing student engagement. As we engage in this International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development, I want to assure you of our commitment as the African Union Commission to work hand in hand with all our partners under the leadership of UNESCO to contribute to the success of this very important initiative. I thank you for your attention.